right. So since we were able to effectively treat a neurodegenerative disease in this manner, so we think that there are many similar possibilities for other diseases, particularly neurological disorders um, that uh, we could treat similarly. No, that doesn't mean all, in all cases. Um, maybe with antisense technology, uh, if you already spoke with Frank Bennett, uh, antisense can be used more broadly than just to change splicing. Our focus in my lab is, is on splicing. So, but I think there are um, a number of uh, uh, diseases that could be tackled in this way. Uh, cancer is one of them. Um, we, need, we need to expand our knowledge base to be able to choose targets more intelligently, but we're already working on some of them. And um, other neurological uh, disorders, um, um, there, there is a disease called familial dysautonomia, which is very rare, for which we already have a molecule that's, that's uh, correcting the, the defect in splicing. Um, I, I have a, a biotech startup that uh, they're working on, on Dravet syndrome, which is a severe epilepsy, again, inherited, and uh, they're pretty far along in developing a, a, you know, an experimental drug. So I think in the next several years, there will be many more Spinraza-like uh, discoveries. Mm -hmm.